Hi, Mr. Wizard. I got your message. What are we going to do today? All right, Brian. Uh, well, I knew that you were a runner, right? Uh -huh. Are you a dasher or a long distance runner? Which? I go for long distance. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you compare to other animals, you know? Well, could you beat a horse, for example, or a cheetah yeah. or something? Well, I couldn't beat those. They're fast. Pretty fa As a matter of fact, right behind you are some of the fastest animal times in the whole world. See that? Yeah. There's a racing pigeon. And skip over the miles per hour and go over to centimeters per second. See how fast? 4,157 yes. centimeters per second. Okay, and there's the horse. That's a, the fast horse. Mm -hmm. 1,745. Okay. That's even, that's but half of what the racing pigeon does. Yeah, right. Then uh, uh, skip over the bot fly. That's one of the fastest insects. There's the runner. But that's a champion runner. Mm. 1,000 what? 16. 16. Right. So how fast do you, you don't ordinarily time yourself in, in centimeters per second. But Where I do you think you'd be if you did? I'd probably end up in here somewhere. You think slower than a champion runner, but well, faster than a butterfly. Yeah. Okay, well now, do you know how fast you go? Can you, I got the calculator out, hoping you could figure it out. Okay. Okay? Well, let's clear it first. All right. Okay. okay, I can run 1,600 meters in about seven minutes. Okay. So, we punch in 1,600 meters, and we convert it to centimeters by multiplying it by 100. Okay. And we get 160,000 centimeters in seven minutes still. Okay. So, we got to divide that by seven to get one minute. Okay. And that equals 22,857 centimeters Your minutes <coughs> per now. minute. So we got to divide that by 60 to get in the second. Okay. What That's is 380 it? centimeters 380. per second. 380. Ha-ha! A butterfly can beat you. So I come in there. Yes. And, but you're faster than the snake. Yeah. All right. and, and you're faster than the centipede and the spider, obviously. Mm -hmm. Well. The reason I wanted you to, to look at those speeds and sort of calculate your own is that now we are going to time how fast a cockroach can run. A cockroach? Yes, when well, is that? Well, here is a cockroach racetrack. What does that Let's have to do with science? Move the calculator out of the way. You get that stopwatch. Okay. And you didn't notice it, but there is a cockroach right there, see? Facing he's, the wrong way. Well, he's, he's in the, behind the starting gate. Well, it doesn't so matter. I'm going to pull out this plug at this end, and then I'll use my stick to give him a little push. And whenever he crosses one of the lines, at, you know, running, you start the stopwatch and then time him for at least, you know, 10 centimeters. Ten centimeters. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Turn around, cockroach. The other way. That's it. That's it. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay, are you ready? Go, go. Just under a second. So a second for what? One centimeter? For I mean, 10 centimeters? Yeah. Okay, one second, 10 centimeters. So you can compare him to the other animals over there. He's still much slower than that yeah. spider there. Well, we actually just timed him for one. You should do a whole bunch of trials. And also, temperature makes a difference. Well, what? The if hotter it is, the faster they can run. In fact, the scientists who have uh, investigated cockroaches have found that they can run at top speed 50 times their length in one second. Gee, I wish really I could fast. do that. Yeah, if you could, you'd really be a fast runner. Can you beat a cockroach? Well, yeah. Okay, next time you have a chance to race one, well, give them a break, let them get a head start. Okay.